<laughs> we gotta have bloopers. Okay. What's up, you guys? Chelsea Kush here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be making a slow cooker chipotle chicken copycat recipe. It's so good. <laughs> I have Brandon filming me, so I have both my hands. Let's get started into this recipe. It's super easy. It's in the slow cooker. I'm gonna be using my Instant Pot again. I have the links below. I adapted this recipe to how I like it, but I have the original recipe in the link below. Let's get started. First, I have my, my cast iron skillet um, on like medium high, and we're just gonna brown the chicken. This recipe has chicken thighs, and I'm going to first start off by seasoning with salt and pepper, putting some oil in my pan, and then getting a, a little crust on my chicken. So I'm just gonna be adding some oil, like a tablespoon of oil, really hot. Woo! Gosh. I'll edit that out. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by adding like a half a teaspoon of salt to my chicken thighs. And then I'm just gonna be cracking some fresh pepper all over it. And now my pan is like super smoking, but that's okay. We're just gonna get a little crust on it. So add the chicken thighs to the pan. I'm gonna season the back of the chicken. So we're just gonna brown that for like a minute or two on each side just to get a little bit of a crust on the outside of the chicken. And we'll flip it and then add it to the slow cooker. So now I'm just gonna add it to my pot. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my other chicken thighs back in. I'm gonna just have you film this. Yeah. <laughs> this is like so ghetto with this light, huh? That's life, that's life. She won't let me cook. I have this ghetto ass light right here. Now I'm just gonna cut up one small onion. You have to learn to be serious. Now we're gonna add all the spices and the garlic. We're gonna add three garlic cloves mixed up. So I'm just gonna be adding like a couple of these. So it, I'm, it's not correct, scoop back. <laughs> right here. I'm gonna be adding about like three tablespoons of this chipotle's and adobo and I'm gonna be adding two of the chipotles. If you don't like it spicy, you don't have to put the peppers, but I mean, I don't really like spicy that much, but these are so bomb. I just love the flavor, it's super good. So if you can handle it, I suggest you do it because it's bomb. Now we add the chili powders. So we have one and a half teaspoons of ancho chili powder and one and a half teaspoons of regular chili powder. And right here we have one and a half teaspoons of cumin. 
Well, and then we have two teaspoons of Mexican oregano. You can use any oregano, but Mexican oregano has a different flavor and it's better for Mexican dishes. And then I'm just going to sprinkle on some more salt. And then grind up some more pepper. For the liquid, I'm just gonna add about a half a cup of water. I'm just gonna start with that and see if that looks good. I'm gonna do another half a cup because that doesn't look like enough. And now I'm gonna mix it. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna leave it venting. I'm gonna leave it the vent open. And I'm going to put it on slow cook for like four and a half hours. Okay, that was super simple. It's gonna be done in like four and a half hours. Once it gets too close to being done, I'm gonna chop up some of my extra stuff that I'm gonna put onto my tacos. So you can have it in burritos. A burrito bowl is really good over like rice or even quinoa with some veggies. And it's bomb. Like I really, I made this the other day and it's so good, I'm like craving it. So I'm excited. I'll check back in with you guys. I gotta go put her to sleep. We'll be back. All right, you guys, it's been four and a half hours and the chicken is finally done. So let's take a look at it. I'm so hungry. Oh my god. Just look at that. Gorgeous. Now we're gonna shred the chicken. I'm just gonna shred it in here just to keep all the liquid in there because it's gonna fall apart anyway, so I don't need to take the extra step of putting it on a plate. That just comes apart so easily. Look at that. You barely have to pull on it. I'm just gonna leave it in kind of big chunks. Cause that's how I like it. Damn, that smells good. This is how I like my tacos. I love a bunch of onions. I love a bunch of cilantro. Some lime. I'm lactose intolerant, but you know I got to do it. Get a little bit of the queso fresco. Add a little bit of some salsa. That looks so good. So I just fried some tortillas and when I made my tacos, they were kind of falling apart because the, the chicken is super juicy. If you make this uh, and you're gonna make tacos, just roast the tacos or warm them because it was like falling apart, but it was still good, so I don't really care. Mm. That's so good. You're gonna love it. That chicken is so good. I'm telling you, it's so bomb. It has like a little smoky flavor from those chipotles. So bomb. If you want it extra spicy, you can put those chipotles on your taco or like cut them up and like sprinkle them on your taco. Or you can also add some hot sauce, which I love. This is my favorite. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite hot sauce because this hot sauce is so bomb. Like I love this hot sauce. I'm gonna finish my tacos. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, give me a comment, let me know what kind of recipes you want me to do. And I'm really trying to reach a goal of 100 subscribers by March. So if you like this video, please support your girl. Okay, I literally have cilantro in my hair.